Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Plays More Transport Fever and as a fortune would have it today we are looking at another ship. In the previous episode we have successfully added uh, a shipping lane between uh, Seattle and this. So this time I will be adding some more shipping, cargo shipping to Chicago and I will be adding a new skunk train which we have lovingly introduced in the previous episode and that one will also be running between Detroit and Chicago so the focus today is between Detroit and Chicago all on the Great Lakes so stick around and uh, let us go and set up this now all right now so what do we have we have the lines oh i might as well repay some loans while i have a, a go at it now we are already supplying detroit with uh, are we supplying detroit with tools yeah it's mediocre i'm not gonna complain but we are not supplying chicago and if we take a look at the Chicago, we might as well supply it because if you look at the zones, commercial zone is exactly here, which is exactly where we need it to be. So let's just continue in the same fashion, not to building one building. One building straight ahead. There you go. See? You can be a champ. And uh, now, uh, docks, and I want the cargo docks. I only need one dock at the moment. And I don't want to destroy anything. Docks outside navigable waters. Okay, hold on. Rotating like this. I'm thinking this should be just fine. Perfect, committed. Now, we shall connect this stretch of road or actually better not let us connect it directly there we go and i hope that the gods of train alignment collision will be ever vigilant so now sadly with this setup we are only covering partial distribution which is a fact that i do not take lightly so we want to increase our distribution obviously and we shall do so by placing a truck station over here come on talk to me oh yes that looks just beautiful come on and that should be covering both zones and everything should look perfect the only downside is that it's on this busy route, but hey, I ain't complaining. Now, speaking of which, you should also know, come here. Oh, it's so deep down, come on. Surely something can be worked out, too much curvature. Then again, maybe not. I'm just gonna get roll with it. Soak up the cost, because yeah, that's what I'm good at. Okay, now make it a little less hideous. I know I'm spending a lot of money on this, but hey, I, I like my stuff to look good. Right, so what we shall be doing here is one line which shall be going from here all the way up there, and that one will be called Chicago commercial delivery because that's delivering goods to Chicago commercials perfect speaking of which I might as well take a couple of trucks to deliver and speaking of which where is my truck depot is that this one no that's the industrial building truck depot ah there you are I knew I had ya. Now, 
one, two, three. I think that should be about right. So you are CHI commercial delivery. A pinkish tone, if you will. And then we have this guy. And I might as well upgrade this to a three port left vehicle in the way. Because I would like this, the one coming here, to dock over here. Alright, um, speed, speed it up, Chief. 100, just deliver, and then buzz off. Will ya? Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, ground fork ship Flesh Crow F. As soon as you clear the docks, I shall perform the required upgrade. Now, three. Am I happy? Yes, I am. Perfect. So, speaking of that, let's create another line and we shall take this, since this one is blue, we shall take a green one, I think. And you shall be known as that CHI tools bulk. Because you will be shipping tools from Detroit East all the way to Chicago Central. And you will be going from the dock number three. Yes, and it was smart enough to figure it out. Perfect. Now, to go about our business, what we need is we want to buy two more ships. One, two. So ship one and ship two. Now, as promised, those will be named after my two guys who have uh, discovered an error in the previous Transport Fever video that there wasn't any audio or my commentary that I was just, you know, babbling, but no sound came out. Who knows, maybe somebody would prefer it that way. Uh, so, ground fork ship, Alexander Müller. Thanks, Alex. And another one would be ground fork ship, cryogenic cloud. Yeah, and both of you shall be on the debt CHI tools bulk duty. All right, so that would should set you on your merry way. Repay everything as much as we can because, well, we can. And now, oh look, with this speed engage, it almost feels like this guy is running on turbo, like, I don't know, like some sort of a fighter plane instead of, you know, a passenger plane. Right, uh, and then the second one I said I want to install passenger service from Chicago to Detroit, and then hopefully onwards to Toronto, because that would be the way we want to roll. Now, that would be easier said than done because um, yeah because of this oh no 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 you are not gonna damn it build here i was about to say uh let's put this height advantage advantages and i'm gonna rework this a tiny bit I know, I know. Pricey. You are going by, and you are going by, and you are going by, and you are going by. I might leave you for the time being. Now, let's just, you know, smooth out stuff. Because we obviously can. Now, my goal here primarily is to see if I could in any sensible fashion containerate? No, not yet. 
here we be running gas trains now accept u2 accept now what i want to be placing is these bad boys too much curvature sooner rather than later look at that stunning i know so now if by some miracle or mir miracle we could extend the road here too much slope of course there's too much slope because yeah how about if i level it down and also reduce a little bit you know so that you don't feel the aforementioned slope hmm how about now would you be willing to cooperate maybe not but look easy peasy eh I'm just trying to get it semi-decent. How does it look? Looks like it just might connect, actually. Of course it will not. How about if I bring it down? How about now? Will you connect now, honey? Oh. Let's also see if we would connect, be able to connect too much curvature. Construction not possible. Dang it! I really want to do this crossing. So. Medium lane street. Too much slope. Too much slope, come on. Talk to me. Too much slope. Where do you have too much slope? I fail to see where there is... Okay, too much slope on the tracks, perhaps. How about if you go like this way, somewhere? Come on. Too much curvature. Too much slope. How about if I take the small road? Then you're even more crazy, huh? But why? Yeah, come on. How about if I go just straight up? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what was that? Hold on. I, I had it just now. Oh, there it was. I cannot believe my eyes. Now, now we come to the bigger problem. Connecting this part to that part. Hmm. Nope. Too much curvature? Nope. Maybe in smaller increments this would be doable. And it would! Woohoo! There we go! Perfect! And we have our railway crossing. Ain't that grand? That means we can signal up this sucker. Perfect. And the reason why I spent so much time preparing is because we will be connecting this station here. So I do want to find an appropriate route out of here. Kinda. We don't, I mean, there is a steep grade around here and we do want to just skirt it if at all possible. So what I'm planning to do is I'll probably peel off somewhere here. 
with a slight incline in mind. There we go. Then do the same this way. What flipping collision? Oh, it's colliding with a signal. No, we don't need that signal anymore, actually. It's fine. Great. Then we remove that signal and there is no longer collision. Beautiful. Now this we have switches here and yes, apparently that's a thing. So now what we want to be doing, we want to be going on this bridge somewhere here. And then we will be skirting around this in a semi decent circle. I hope so. Uh, at least do it. Right. Okay. So I think that's good enough coming here out of this area. What I want to be doing is I want to take now this track, which came from this area. Oh, and we have container here even. Wonderful. Okay, wait, can I just... I'm wondering, can I just upgrade to these? Oh, look, I can. Oh, that's useful. Right. So, but uh, then again, it might not be useful for these ones. Because I ultimately want to get this direction in. Come on. Don't give me too much curvature. I think it's good that it takes a little bit more curvy. It's better to be curvy at the beginning rather at the end of the track. So, good. Uh, this bit of road I'm going to remove because, let's face it, Sonny, you're not going anywhere. And here... There's this junction along the way. There we go. You just follow along. Sharp peel off there. And now to find a good way how to cross this one. How about doing this? Road vehicle 77. I don't care about the road vehicle 77. I'm sorry. And yes, I do need a little bit of cash. Contour lines. So we are already over there. So we just need to skirt maybe this height and then come over here. So here we'll join along this road, probably. Or maybe even we cross this road a little bit here. Cross this one and then just continue. Yeah, we could do that. I can feel it. There we go. One. Two. Perfect. And then we go more or less straight here for a stretch. I'm hoping this will be a semi-fast railway sooner rather than later. So now, how do we look here? We are curving a little bit more than I would like. So now the idea would be to somehow curve it back and connect. Let's just see what's the quote if I tell it to go right from the get-go like this. One million with a big-ass tunnel. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to take it. 
because if I want to maintain a high-speed rail that looks like feasible right no regrets so second part of that one will go like that and it should be cheaper look 559k perfect and the town should start developing and I'm pretty sure that uh, commuting wise it's not gonna be the most profitable route but hey I don't care at this point all right I'm waiting for some cash to come in please Three eighty, okay, a little bit more. Five fifty nine, five eighty eight. There we go, perfect. So that settled that. Now, uh, signal wise, I f strongly feel we should signal up here, this section of the track. Just a second. You be on this side you be on uh, this side come on it's just 3k oh new vehicle dornier mercure oh and the new path signals oh by all means then we might want to delete where are the older ones these two shall be removed one signal shall be removed come on give me some cash i need a train to pull in and do the cha-ching do you think you can do it there you go. I need this removed, come on. Signal, just the signal, not the track, please. Thank you. So, uh, signal wise, we are placing brand new flashy, look at them. New signals, hey, amazing one uh, and again I'm out of out of cash where is the rest of my workers hmm I guess I'll have to figure it out oh come on somebody there you go it's not like I'm asking for a million, I'm asking for a bloody just couple of quid. Signal, signal, perfect. I don't want trains getting stuck in here, so signal here. Would this one be too close to the other one? Yes, it would. Okay, well, then only from this side. From the other side, you will go here. Then here, here. And then finally, oh, Shoot, I forgot. Well, we have our minor remodeling to do. Because here maybe it won't be needed, but let's check anyway. Straight one, yes. Straight one, yes. There you go one diamond crossing and too much slope on the other not entirely unexpected you know how about if i could do it here let's see i do the shortest possible and tell me you won't fight me if i introduce something like hold on if i introduce something like no! Damn it. Oh. 
<sighs> it really wants to fight me. Let's do a just short straight section. No. Don't fight me. You know you can't fight me. Except that it knows that it can and it does try to fight me. That's the problem in its core. Too much curvature, a little longer. Ah, there we go. I'll shorten the rest if this works. Not too much slope. Where's the too much slope? Damn you. Stop the, with the too much slope already. Hmm. I'm gonna do it like this. Rem I, I should call this endless remodeling. Just like that. Short turn, but decisive in the given direction. Same, followed by a track that's straight and long enough to have a good diamond crossing, perhaps. That's what I would like to believe at least. Now, there you go. And you two, same here, lest I forget. Too much slow. Why do I even put up with you? I'm gonna fix you later. I don't care. Now, that's one track and here is another. Done, signed, sealed, delivered. Perfect, now where are my signals? There. So I guess you signal boy should be coming here as well and you should be coming somewhere there perfect that takes care of those signals now what i need is a depot because i don't believe i have a train depot anywhere close not really The best possible location for a train depot would be here. And then connecting that one would be a bloody nightmare. How about here? I might consider it doing it as an end depot for the time being just. That might be doable. Okay, hold hold the press. Let's try it. One, two, three four so what we shall do here is a train depot something like ever so gently now what i need all of you is to merge onto the single track that shall be going in so you merge here, you shall merge, you shall merge the earliest, I guess, there you go, you shall merge just after it, and you, beautiful, shall merge into the, into your host before you continue. Or not. You shall go until here and then you'll merge right in there. Oh, bugger! Um, yeah. So, I was saying. There we go, and then you merge over here somehow. Too much curvature and slope. 
here's an idea. Nope. Then you just merge over here. For example, entirely doable. Believable? No. But doable? Yes. Good. And since there are no signals on this side, we don't need to care. Now, what we need to create is a rail line. And that rail line shall be connecting the cities of Detroit on one end and Chicago. I know. Amazing, isn't it? Now, we shall put it to this bright yellow and we shall call it debt CHI airport shuttle because that one will be ferrying passengers so what I want to be doing now I want to buy trains and because just because I want to buy two of these Set the train line and those will be airport shuttle. Time to show them off, right? Look at that. I don't know why, but I'm usually a sucker for sticking with the default color scheme. Which is kind of boring at times, but I don't know. I kind of like it. What I think we need now is a passenger service somewhere. And I might as well return the amount of cash that I have accumulated. Look at that. Amazing, right? Yeah. Now, something about this M300s, they were also a little bit of history about those. They were also referred as the skunk trains because according to the people that have, you know, seen them and drove with them, you could smell them before you uh, you could uh, see them. Look at that. That's a screenshot material right there. So, let's uh, read about it. Skunk train. Gas-powered, self-propelled passenger rail cars were added in 1925 and after Pullman service was discontinued, the CWR steam passenger ran only when the motor cars were out in service for maintenance. The passenger coaches were scrapped in 1949. The motor cars were nicknamed skunks because of the people said you can smell them before you can see them. In the 1965, the line reintroduced summer... Oh, reintroduced... Uh, summer steam passengers between Fort Braggs and Wills with Super Skunk Wallwin built steel locomotive number 45 pulling the former Erie Lekwana Railway. So I don't, I'm just reading from the wiki about this skunk train, but I'm not exactly sure if that's the correct one. If you guys know which is the correct one, please do provide it in the link into the description below. Let's take a look at this. It seems to be gas powered and it does leave a lot in terms of, yeah. So let's see, do we have any passengers already going to Chicago? Guess not. Look at that. I know, amazing, right? To, to yeah there we go so we have successfully set up our first diesel cool and that will be servicing Chicago so I guess I mean ultimately it will probably be losing me cash but hey I wanted a little bit to diversify on the train choice and connectivity options and maybe we'll just peel off here and I'm thinking, oh, let's take a look at the ground fork ship cryogenic cloud. Let's do a little bit uh, ride along here. Look at this with a beautiful view of Detroit. 
That's the stuff. I'm going to remove myself just temporarily. Looks great, doesn't it? And we can see the trains in the background, yes. Our Atlantic Express service. Still missing the turkeys though. Does anybody know where have the turkeys gone? Oh, look at that. Oh, you're holding up the traffic, buddy. Clearly, these guys haven't heard of modern times. Well, that tends to happen when you have a brawling transport empire to take care of. Ah, looks great. Let's... Let's tag along on this guy as he pulls into the Chicago. Right, and with that thing being said, I'm gonna wish you all like if you like it, the episode, and I will be continuing in the next one. Until then, thank you very much for watching. This is Groundforks, signing off and looking at the skunk train.